Hi y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share an outfit of the day with you guys, show you guys what I had on today. We baptized Harper today, and my sister Lindsay and her husband Albert served as her godparents. And I'm excited to have this done um, because it's something that I tried to do within like the first six months of um, my children's lives is just have them baptized and Harper just got away from me um, so she's definitely you know due so she's a year old um, and that's that so I thought I would share my outfit of the day with you guys I do not feel very well I've got a lot of congestion I feel everything in my teeth I've got the worst headache it's just pounding um, and I don't feel good. My husband has had the flu for the past week. My son had the flu. Harper's got an ear infection. And Eva is being strong. She's not getting sick. And I'm being super strong. I don't have the flu, which I don't, don't think I'll get because I did get the flu vaccination um, in the fall. But this is like sinus infection stuff. Um, and I've just been treating it with like allergy medication and a nasal spray. But I really think I need a steroid now because it's kind of exasperated into something much worse. Um, but anyway, let me tell you guys what I have on. It sucks because I have no taste buds, so I don't taste anything. And we hosted a early dinner at El Tiempo restaurant on Navigation in Houston, which is a really good Mexican restaurant. If you're not from Houston, you need to go there. Um, it's across from Nimfa's, and it's actually owned by Nimfa's son and his son. Um, so it's the same family, but it's the original people, not Nimfa's. It was bought out. So anyway, it's awesome. They have good food. Um, and we hosted an early reception there. We bought these big barriadas. There was like five of them that we had. We ordered and put them on the table. And they have like everything, every meat on them. It's like chicken and beef and sausage and quail, shrimp and like lobster and I think um, carnitas, which I don't really care for. But yeah, all this stuff on it. And I couldn't taste anything. And I was like, yeah, I don't taste anything. I tried a little bit of everything and... There's no flavor, so I stopped eating because I just don't and didn't enjoy it. And I ordered a cake from a new bakery, and I was excited to try it. Didn't have any taste buds, so I don't even know. Everybody said it was wonderful, that it was delicious. It was supposed to be, like, almond-flavored. Um, but I can't taste anything, so I don't know. So, yeah, anyway, this is what I wore, and I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, because it is a Catholic church ceremony, baptism, um, I try to make sure that my, like, upper area is covered um, anytime I have to go to Mass for a celebration or something, a baptism, communion, confirmation, wedding, anything like that, I try to make sure that this is covered. You can kind of, you know, shoulders are questionable sometimes. But for the most part, you just want to make sure that your skirts are long enough and that your shoulders, you know, you don't want anything like showing too much. Um, but that's it. So, yeah, let me show you guys back there. And I've got pockets. And I love this dress because it's, woo, it's like spinny, yay. <laughs> yeah, I love the, it's just so feminine and girly. It's made out of this kind of scuba knit material, so it's very stretchy, like very, very stretchy, um, and very thick, but it's very comfortable at the same time. It's not constricting at all, at all. So really pretty. Loving it very, very much. It's an Erin Featherston, um, dress which it's really really pretty and it's white and then it has this like green vine rose vine and the roses are like a peach pink white cream color and it just wraps around the whole dress and then the pockets right here which I think are really nice they make good a good place for your hands when you take pictures so you could like stand there like this and just take really cool pictures with your dress because you have pockets or you could spin and just, yeah, loving that if you don't know. Okay, so I have this dress on with um, my nude pumps. They're the Rolando pumps from Christian Louboutin. They are hard to find because they are outdated. They're not part of this collection. They are old, but you can still find them. Um, I had a hard time finding them, and then the guy at Neiman Marcus was like, you don't want those. Those are old. You want the new, new collection. I'm like, no, like, those are the ones I like. Um, so, yeah, they're really, really pretty. There they are again. Um, and I did not get anything put on the sole of mine. I regret that. I feel like I should have had that red cover put on it for protection of the red. You can get that done like at the Houston Shoe Hospital where they just put, which the Houston Shoe Hospital guy, the guy that owned it originally, he's passed away since, he used to live in this house. It's so crazy. He owned this house, um, which is, yeah, it's crazy. So um, anyway, you can put 
that on your shoe, um, which is really nice. I didn't do it. Maybe I will I buy another pair in the future. Um, I don't know. I have three pairs, four pairs, and they're like the classic pairs that I can wear with anything and I can use them over and over like future. I don't think I would want any other ones. I know, you know, people collect them like they're, you know, they have the latest one and they're really, really pretty. Um, but I just don't know if I would want every single pair. It's like, and then it's expensive. Um, but honestly, I mean, I only wear mine. I don't wear them all the time. Not even like daily or weekly. It's very rare. I use special occasions and that's it. So yeah, anyway. On to the next thing. This is um, a pair of bobble bear, bobble bear, bobble bar earrings. They're really pretty. I bought them specifically for this dress because I just thought with the rose vines that they looked really, really pretty. And so this is white and this is gold. And then the back says bobble bar, which is really nice. Um, and then my rings, which I get a lot of questions about. These are not my original wedding rings by any means. They are not even real. This is a cubic zirconia from Dillard's. Um, I purchased that because my original set does not fit my finger anymore. It won't go past my knuckle, and I'm not sure why. I don't know if my hands got bigger with pregnancy. Some people's feet grew or grow. Mine didn't grow. My hands actually changed. I can't get anything, but that's okay. If any of my appendages were going to get abnormal and large, I would prefer them not to have been my feet because I like my shoes too much, so my hands are fine. Um, so anyway, this one, which is really big, my husband said, let's try it out and see if you like that size um, before we go figure out what we're going to do with your wedding ring. Um, and I don't actually like this size. I feel like it's too big. I feel like it's offensive. I feel like hiding it all the time. I'm like, okay, I'm good now. That's kind of my style is just the plain bands. Um, so yeah, I think been there, tried it, don't like it. Um, my mom's is that big and it's always like this in your face and I just, uh, no. So that's that. Um, what else? Let's see. On my face, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows in cream all over and in the highlight area. And then um, Birkin in the crease, Bangle in the outer crease, hot chocolate in the outer crease as well, some winged eyeliner, and then my lashes are flutter lashes, no, flirty lashes um, from Kiss, the um, Kiss company. They're called Flirty, so they're really pretty. On my cheeks, I have Melba Cantaloupe and Freeze by MAC. I mixed kind of three colors to get like a peachy and then a pink kind of pop. And then on my lips, I have on MAC Subculture with NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Eclair, or lip gloss in Eclair, which is just a simple, real simple kind of, you know, everyday look. I didn't want to go too heavy since it's a church reception and it was early in the day. My daughter's communion was later in the day, um, and I felt comfortable wearing, like, a darker lip. And it was also winter, as it's obviously spring, so that would have been a little too dark for spring, and I just felt fresh in this. So, yeah, my, like, I tend to start thinking about what I'm going to wear way in advance and I put things together I actually write it all down um, how I want to pair things and how I want to like fix my makeup it's like an overall head to toe look um, even my nails which I painted I wanted everything real fresh real light this is really pretty and this is actually one of the most gorgeous colors and I wish it would work because it's so so gorgeous my husband is like that's my favorite nail color you've ever painted your nails and it's a shame because and I'll show you why let me get the nail polish here it is. Okay. This is the nail polish. It's the Revlon Gel, Color Stay Gel Envy in the color Card Shark. And it is just, and then the top coat, the um, Gel Envy Diamond Top Coat. You see that? And like I said, Card Shark, which is so pretty. And look how gorgeous that pink is. It's just a really pretty, natural, very elegant, just clean, pretty pink. Beautiful color, and I painted of his nails this color too, but let me show you guys why. I did this, and then it would smudge. You know, I could never get it to dry. Do you see that gash? Okay, that happened exactly eight hours after I painted my nails. This stuff never sets. It never dries. It was literally that night. I painted them in the morning. That night, yesterday, um, that I was doing things and noticing that I could still move the polish around on my nails. It's the craziest. Look at this thumb. It's all like my nails are so jacked up right now. It's crazy. It never dried. I could push the polish around everywhere. My cuticles are dry because I wash dishes with my bare hands. But isn't that horrible? Look at that gash. It's just like, ooh. 
And like my other nail polishes don't do that. SC and everything else I can put on and you know, you sit back for five, ten minutes and then you're fine. These never dried. Literally eight hours later and I could still move and do indentions in the gel. And it's just, that sucks. And it's such a pretty color. My husband's like, I wish it would work because it's so pretty. It looks really pretty. So yeah, just real pretty and fresh, elegant color. Um, but somebody on my Instagram said that Essie's Moochie Moochie, which I have never tried, and I have so many Essie nail polishes because that's my favorite, favorite brand, favorite formulation. Um, I've never tried Moochie Moochie. So they said that it's this color. So I'm going to definitely pick that one up and try it. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So there's that. Um, let me know what your favorite pink nail polish is. Uh, because I'd like to find a shade like this that works. So I'll try the Moochie Moochie one, but yeah. Alrighty, so thank you so much for watching. I know I rambled. I'm on so much Sudafed that I'm so spacey and loopy. It's crazy. And this, you see all this? This is just baby hairs growing back from when I had Harper and all my hair fell out. Baby hairs, and they drive me nuts because they're always sticking up everywhere. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.